Hello, hello! Welcome back to the Snap on Tri County Tool Show. Uh, congratulations, we survived another year, and uh, again, we're back on uh, on the mission to get you all the information you need to make a decision on what well, one of these guys today. We're going to be talking roll carts. I had a few guys asking in the comments of our toolbox video if we could do the same thing for roll carts. Now, I obviously, Snap on, we make a lot of roll carts. It's not going to be every single one, but uh, I think we're going to do a great job of uh, giving you guys some information on what we do have available. Let's get into it. Alrighty, folks. So the first tale of the tape is going to be our KRSC 430. Now, like I said, we're going to be talking some bigger roll carts today, as you can tell. Uh, we got a few different styles here and obviously a bunch of different attributes to go along with them. So uh, for one, if you're in my area... Great time to grab a roll cart. If you remember me talking about our uh, our big deal on cart Vana, well, this is uh, the tail end of it. This is basically what we have left from it. So uh, if you are interested, let me know. We do have a few other options available, just uh, not able to, uh, to open up and display. But mainly these are the colors we have left. Uh, we do have a red version of the uh the combat green um we also have i believe one in our arctic silver in what we're going to be talking about now which is that krsc 430 uh and of course if you're looking it up you can add whatever color code you want to see whichever box so starting off with our roll carts at least these guys now we do sell blue point roll carts and we do sell um some not pre-assembled snap-on roll carts as well big thing is with those is they're not made in the same plant as what these guys are these are made in our toolbox plant um, most of them including this guy here if i open up the drawers uh, these are made with heritage series drawers so the nice thing is is if you are looking for extra drawers or to to swap them out you'll notice some of these guys do have different drawer layouts um, the biggest thing is obviously make sure they're the same width same depth but if you were looking to, instead of say, having all these mid-length drawers and you wanted a bunch of deep ones, you can order them. Uh, you can get the part numbers off the part breaks, parts breakdown as well. Um, without further ado, let's talk about this guy. Uh, first thing you're gonna notice compared to some of the other carts, the top is split. Now, my personal favorite are these guys. And the reason for it being is, we all know that roll carts, when you're using a roll cart, that's the junk drawer. That's where you throw all your junk before the end of the day. And then you always realize, hey, I need to get my socket. I need to get whatever. And of course, it's in the top. And then you like say, for an example, if we grab these now, I'm not talking these guys down. We got to talk about these because there's a lot of great stuff about. But you open this guy up and everything dumps off the back or... Uh, you got to tear everything off the top, and obviously efficiency is key. You got to make money, and to do that, you got to save yourself some time. So with these, you just slide it to the side. Uh, the work surface will hold about, I think it's around 200 pounds on the top. So you do have plenty of room and plenty of space to work with this. Uh, inside, if I open this guy up, you actually have a separate, I call it the secret storage tray, because a lot of guys don't realize that these are in... Uh, I've had guys who have owned these boxes for years and not realize that you have the extra storage because it is kind of hidden away. Uh, great for any electronics. You're not going to dump a bunch of fluids or anything on them. Uh, inside here, you also have your your lock for your drawers. So the nice thing is that if you do want to lock the top, if something is valuable in here, but you still want to roll around in the cart, you can and you can still use the drawers instead of having the whole box open and vice versa you can keep the drawers locked while you can open the top if you're just doing a service job you don't need any of the drawers opening up on you as you're rolling around obviously with all of our toolboxes as well if i can scoot up underneath here you might be able to see that lock and latch system so on every box and except for our epics they do have these lock and latch systems if i pull that out there Basically what they're made to do is keep that drawer from opening up as you're rolling around the shop. And especially with a mobile cart like this, you're going to want that. Um, again, where this is a 20 inch deep by 40 inch wide box, uh, they do have our Heritage Series drawer slides on the side. So if you are looking for a heavier duty 
drawer slide, either double these up. They will hold 120 pounds per set or 240 if they're double slided. And the nice thing is with this box, you can double slide every single drawer. There's not one on here that you have too thin. Uh, you're not gonna be able to double slide it. So really handy there. Same style lock as all of our locks. So if you do wanna have it as an accessory to your toolbox, you can have all your locks keyed the same. Just order another lock cylinder, you're good to go. And the one last feature about this box, I'm gonna talk about the ISO ride casters. So these are similar to the snap-on roll cabs where you have one set of fixed wheels and then one set of steering wheels. Um, obviously, if you do have the time and the patience, you can always swap those out. But as you'll see with the further toolboxes, uh, we have changed it up a little bit. You also have the bumper guards on the side, so you're not bumping up against any vehicles. Or, honestly, most guys are more worried about scratching your toolbox, so you won't have to worry about scratching that. Uh, and, obviously, lifetime warranty on most of the stuff that moves from the casters to the the uh, the lock cylinder, your your drawer slides, um, and that even includes the top drawer slides as well. So, really great box, and uh, well, we're gonna compare it to its big brother right now. Let's be honest, you've seen enough of the Sonic smoke uh, already with the uh, the first toolbox that we talked about. Now, you will notice uh, these two do have the black trim. We do have some different trims as well, just to talk a little bit more about that, but. You're going to want to see this combat green one a little bit more. I can hear you yelling at the screen. Don't worry. Now, with this bad boy, like I said in the uh, in the previous rundown of the toolbox, this guy does have that flip-top lid. Now, there are some benefits of having a flip-top lid over the split top. Uh, one thing I do like about this, and this is where I'm torn because I think you should have one of each. So there's going to be features with this one that you're going to want over the other one. Uh, my favorite thing is, well... For one, the screwdriver slash pry bar holders built right into the side. Now, uh, along with that, these boxes, you'll notice, are a little bit narrower. Uh, these ones are a 36 inch and this guy's a 40. So if you're looking for tight access, squeezing through different spots, whether it's between lifts or between vehicles, this one's going to be a little bit narrower, but it's deeper. So this one actually has a 24 inch depth which also means we can put our heavier duty drawer slides in it. So this actually has our classic series drawer slides about 150 pounds per and 300 per set. Now, with that, we also added some of what I like to call the paperwork drawers. They're a little bit narrower, but since they can hold more weight, we can kind of use them a little bit better in that way. And then of course, your four inch deep drawers are going to have that double slide opportunity if you do so decide. Uh, really, really great on that. I should mention uh, these guys are a, a KRSC242, and then whichever color code you're working with. Now, the tail of the tape, like I said, is going to be fairly similar, uh, made in the same spot that these guys are, just two obviously different specifications with the depth, with the width. You still get your bumper guards on the side. You get your extra deep drawers with this one, which are handy if you do have any blow molded cases, anything like that. But you'll also notice that I talked about those casters. All four of these guys swivel, which is a big deal, especially if you are working on something where you need to spin your cart around, get it out of there. Um, or obviously if you're pushing up against the wall, you don't gotta do those S turns or lifting the one end up, which when it's full, if you've ever tried, uh, is a great way to throw your back out. Um, but along with that, where these guys are a little bit bigger, um, we have some guys who do use them as like a uh, an immobile toolbox. So it's your, your add-on to your toolbox with the price that we have these on. A lot of guys are starting to do that. So they've actually added a spot for, uh, for bolting a power bar into. Now, if you are on my truck, we do have a promotion right now where you get one of those bad boys for free. They are a KAPS five if you are looking them up they're a great one to have just in the shop they're a, a really handy uh power bar but if you want to see a video on those they are on the truck and i can always scoot them into any of our our regular videos so really great toolbox basic differences between these two brothers the one on the left is going to be 20 inches deep 40 inches wide 
It has your 120 pound drawer slides and a split top lid. The ones on the right, these two brothers, uh, they are a flip top lid with your, of course, your, uh, your screwdriver pry bar holders. You'll notice the drawer configuration is a little bit different. And also with that, they're 36 inches wide and 24 inches deep. They'll hold a little bit more. The capacity is obviously a little bit bigger with those bigger drawer slides as well. And obviously uh, the wheels can swivel a little bit different. So prices vary between these two, but uh, we can get you a great deal on either one if you're interested. Now on to last but not least, another Sonic Smoke Blue. We're gonna be talking about this bad boy. The hybrid, what I like to call the KRSC 46. Now, we spoke about the KRSC 242. We talked about the KRSC 430. Now, the KRSC 46 is basically the best of both worlds. So it has the same footprint as this guy here. It is 40 inches wide, 20 inches deep, which a fantastic box if you're looking, again, in those narrow spots, you need to get it through. Uh, or if you're leaving it up against the wall and you want to be able to open those drawers up without dinging anything or catching it as you're passing by. Your wheels, you have one set of swivels, one set of straights, and if you were looking for, sorry about the scratchiness, we're trying to keep this box in new condition for whoever wants it next, um, you're also going to get your, uh, your pry bar racks. Now, few different things like i said it is a hybrid so you'll notice it does have a flip top lid but it's a painted flip top lid compared to our bed liner tops which i didn't mention before because that's basically what we have left in stock they're all work tops now you can use a, uh, a rubber mat that we do have available to stick on the top of these to make it a very nice work surface or if you're not a fan of using your tool cart as a work top or a work surface don't worry about it. You can just keep it flipped up or if you even want to keep the plastic on. I have a few guys who do that. But again, like I said, most of these roll carts have a lot of the same attributes where they are made similar, uh, similarly in the same spot. Um, same uh, Heritage Series drawer slides, same rubber guards on the side, same casters, just not as many swivel swivels as the uh, before mentioned toolbox. But the price point, um, we've had a lot of guys mentioning you don't want to spend a lot on a roll cart. This is the best of both worlds. It's a little bit smaller. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles. But along with that, it comes with a, a big rebate to uh, to definitely make it worth your while to grab the tool. All right, stop yelling. I know. I was uh, reviewing the video. I had to run back out to the Snap-on Storage HQ because... I forgot two things about this guy. Like I said, now, it is a premium roll cart, which means there's a few premium features about it. Now, if you've made it this long in the video, I appreciate it for one. Leave a like if you do appreciate the uh, the hopefully in-depth review. If I did miss anything else, leave it in the comments below and I'll hopefully be able to answer your question. But you'll notice this drawer looks like a regular drawer and you might have noticed when I opened this top one, it has a bunch of holes in it. Now, you're probably yelling, Joseph, why didn't you talk about this? I've been so used to these boxes having these. I, I've just been, uh, I guess, a little bit negligent in letting everyone know. So this is called the speed drawer. And basically what it is, if I can get you close enough, uh, it's a bunch of little divots in the, the left, the right, the back, and the front of the drawer. And that allows you to slot in whatever organizers you want. Now, of course, the box does come with some. You might have noticed that when I opened the bottom of this as well. They're over here in that uh, the lovely little, uh, little mat there, which you can also bolt the, uh, the, the organizers through. But I forgot all about it. And the other thing that I forgot about, future Joseph, take it away. Ooh, are these guys, uh, the, uh, the KRSC... 242 plates for the side now if you can see the toolbox behind me that's our arctic silver with blue trim roll cart that 242 that we spoke about now, these guys are a little bit heavy so what these are made to do is basically adapt to any of your slots and dots stuff so if you already have a toolbox with a riser uh, or a locker if you've noticed they have a bunch of these dots on the inside 
what it is is it's a bunch of different organization stuff that you can get so pry bar racks a lot of guys will use them for like their um like cans of fluid anything like that that you don't want inside of a drawer you don't want to make it all gummed up or anything a uh, great way to do it or a lot of guys use it as a protector as well so you can bolt this where your handle goes you can get them for your regular toolboxes as well where this toolbox is 24 inches deep you are able to get these they're really great just to keep your magnetic accessories on keep everything from scratching your actual toolbox so with that being said, I promise you, I'm not going to bug you anymore. I really appreciate you watching the video. If you're new, definitely subscribe. Uh, 2023 is going to be a great year for the YouTube channel. We got a lot of big things coming. We got some new promotional stuff coming in, which also means a bunch of new demonstrations if you're looking for new tools for your toolbox or if you're just looking for a new toolbox, we got plenty of those coming as well. And until next time, have a great day and we'll talk next trip.